one on one tutorial ba ang hanap mo? Tara, pag-usapan natin kung paano ang illustrating SSS, SAS, ASA, at SAA congruence postulate. Simulan na nating manood, makinig, mag-enjoy, at syempre ang matuto. Hello mga katuto, welcome to one on one tutorials. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay illustrating SSS, SAS, ASA, at SAA congruence postulates. Dito sa lesson na ito, mapag-aaralan natin ang included sides at included angles of a triangle na kung saan ay may nagawa na akong video nito. Lalagay ko na lang ang link sa taas or pwede nyo ring tingnan sa description box. Para masabi natin congruent ang dalawang triangles, gagamitin natin ang congruence postulates. At ito yung mga congruence postulates. SSS or side 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 congruence postulate. Next, SAS or that is side angle side congruence postulate. Next, ASA or that is angle side angle congruence postulate. And SAA or that is side angle angle congruence postulate. Sa iba sinasabi nila ito as AAS congruence postulate. Pero sa video ng ito, gagamitin natin ang SAA. Para maging congruent ang dalawang triangles, kailangan lang natin i-identify ang three pairs of congruent parts. Ang three pairs of congruent parts na ito, ito yung SSS, SAS, ASA at SAA. Mapapansin niyo, tig tatlo lang sila ng congruent parts. Unahin natin ang side-side-side or SSS congruence postulate. So, meron tayo rito ang triangle A, B, C and triangle D, E, F. Titignan natin kung itong dalawang triangles ba na ito ay congruent. So, meron tayo rito ang marking. So, ibig sabihin, segment B, C is congruent to segment E, F. Another one, segment A, C is congruent to segment D, F. And, Segment AB is congruent to segment DE. So, all three corresponding sides are congruent. So, ito yung ating mga congruent parts. Segment CB is congruent to segment FE. So, ito ay side. Then, another one, segment AC is congruent to segment DF. And that is also a side. Another, segment AB is congruent to segment DE. And that is a side also. So, pwede na nating sabihin na ang triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by using the SSS congruence postulate. Sabi ko kanina, three congruent parts lang ang kailangan natin para masabi natin congruent ang dalawang triangles. Since meron na tayong tatlong congruent parts dito, which is the three sides, so therefore, etong dalawang triangles na ito ay congruent. Let's have another example. Side, angle, side or SAS congruence postulate. Etong angle na ito, ito yung included side. At napag-aralan na natin ito sa nakaraan nating video. Meron tayo rito ang marking. So, ibig sabihin, segment CB is congruent to segment FE. Another given, angle C is congruent angle F. Then another, segment AC is congruent to segment DF. At ang ating angle ay included angle between these two sides. So sabi rito, two sides and included angle are congruent. Ito yung ating dalawang sides. At ito naman ang ating included angle. So isulat lang natin yung mga given. Segment CB is congruent to segment FE. And that is a side. Angle C is congruent angle F. And that is an included angle. Another, segment AC is congruent to segment DF. And that is a side. So therefore, ang ating conclusion ay triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF using the SAS congruence postulate. Dito sa ating dalawang triangles na ito, 
meron tayong tatlong tricongruent parts. Ito yung side, angle, and side. Okay, let's have another example. Angle, side, angle, or ASA congruence postulate. Ang side natin dito ay included side. So, tignan natin yung mga markings. So, angle B is congruent to angle E. Segment CB is congruent to segment FE. Another, angle C is congruent to angle F. So, therefore, two angles and included side are congruent. So, ito yung ating dalawang angles na congruent at ito naman yung ating included side na congruent din. So, isulat lang natin yung mga given. Angle B is congruent to angle E. And that is an angle. Another, segment CB is congruent to segment FE. And that is a side. Another, angle C is congruent to angle F. And that is an angle. So therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF using the ASA congruence postulate. Dito sa ating example na ito, Meron tayong three congruent parts. Ito yung angle, side, at angle. Okay, let's have another example. Side, angle, angle, or SAA congruence postulate. Ang ating side dito ay non-included side. So, ipapakita ko kung paano ang non-included side sa ating example. So, meron tayo rito ang congruent part. Segment AB is congruent to segment DE. Another. Angle B is congruent to angle E. Another given, angle C is congruent to angle F. Mapapansin ninyo dito sa ating illustration, ang ating segment CB at segment FE, yan ay yung included side. So therefore, itong segment AB at segment CA, ito yung tinatawag nating non-included side. So ang sabi rito, Two angles and non-included side are congruent. So, isulat lang natin yung mga given values. Segment AB is congruent to segment DE. And that is a side or the non-included side. Another given, angle B is congruent to angle E. And that is an angle. Another given, angle C is congruent to angle F. And that is also an angle. So, ang conclusion natin, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF using the SAA congruence postulate. Dito sa ating example na ito, meron tayong three congruent parts. Ito yung non-included side, angle, and angle. Subukan natin sagutan ang mga sumusunod. Given the markings of each pair of triangle, Name the three congruent parts. Then write the triangle congruence postulate justifying the pair of triangles. So unahin natin ang ating figure number one. Ang sabi rito, triangle MAH is congruent to triangle TAH. So itong dalawang triangle na ito ay congruent sila. Pero paano natin masasabi na ang dalawang triangles na ito ay congruent? So, Mag-base tayo sa mga markings. The first one is this one. So, angle MAH is congruent to angle TAH. And that is an angle. Another, segment AH is congruent to segment AH. And that is a side. Then another, angle MHA is congruent to angle THA. And that is also an angle. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang ating side ay included side. So therefore, ang postulate na ginamit dito ay ASA congruence postulate. Angle, included side, and another angle. Okay, next, number 2. Sabi rito, triangle A and E is congruent to triangle L and G. So, tignan natin yung mga congruent parts. So, meron tayo rito ang markings. Segment AN is congruent to segment LN. And that is a side. Another, 
angle A and E is congruent to angle L and E. And that is an angle. Another markings. Angle A E N is congruent to angle L G N. And that is also an angle. So, tignan natin yung side. Ang side natin ay ito. Then, meron tayong angle dito. Then, another angle. Itong segment AN na ito, ito ay ang non-included side. So, therefore, SAA congruence postulate ang ginamit dito. Next, triangle SID is congruent to triangle DES. Then, tignan natin yung mga markings. So, meron tayo rito, segment SI is congruent to segment DE. And that is a side. Another markings. Segment ID is congruent to segment ES. That is also a side. Another markings. Segment SD is congruent to segment SD. And that is also another side. Kung mapapansin nyo rito, meron tayong tatlong side. So therefore, automatic na siya na SSS congruence postulate. So ganyan lang mga katuto kung paano ang SSS, SAS, ASA, at SAA congruence postulate. Para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang lesson natin ngayon, pwede nyo ring sagutan ang mga sumusunod na mga tanong. Sana nakatulong ang video na ito para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang lesson nyo sa mathematics. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!